Hey guys, welcome to our channel. Please click the subscribe button and click the bell icon and never miss another update from Almighty Java. In this video, we will learn about builder design pattern. So if you haven't watched our other design pattern videos then please watch it. Before going further let's see, what is builder design pattern all about? The builder pattern is a design pattern designed to provide a flexible solution to various object creation problems in object-oriented programming. The builder pattern builds a complex object using simple objects. The intent of the builder design pattern is to separate the construction of a complex object from its representation. The builder class builds the final object step by step and it is independent of other objects. Let's implement. Let's create a new package for the builder. Let's create a new class, class name let's say, Builder. Let's run this code. See it is working and printing the message. Now let's implement the Builder pattern. Let's create a class called Computer. Let's add variables like company, operating system, RAM size, hard disk size, system type. Now let's add a private constructor so nobody can create an instance of this class as I said, in the beginning. The builder class builds the final object. Add to string method. Now let's create a class inside this class so the inner class is the builder class. In our class name let's say computer builder. This class must be static class so we can call directly by name. This class also contains all the variables. To assign these variable values to the computer, let's add a private constructor parameter. The parameter is nothing but the computer builder. Now assign all these computer builder values to computer variables. I hope till the time everything is clear for you. Now let's create a constructor for computer builder class. This constructor will accept only two parameters like company and operating system. Now for other three variables, let's create the setter methods and this setter method returns the current object that is nothing but the computer builder. So we are just setting the value and return this. Similarly, let's add two more methods. Now let's create the build method and this method will return the computer. From outside we can't create the object of computer class object, but here we can create the computer class object. Computer class default constructor accepts the computer builder, so pass this. I hope this build method is clear for you. Now this computer builder class is done. Actually builder design pattern implementation is done. Now let's go to the main method. Here I will show two approach. The first approach is like we will read input from the scanner and build the computer object. Let's add scanner related code. Let's read all the inputs. Now let's see how to build computer class object with the help of computer builder. We cannot create a computer class object but we can create computer builder class object. Here pass company and operating system. Now call the setter for other three variables. Now we can call the build method. It is returning the computer object. Now print this object. 
Here as you know we are reading inputs from scanner class so adding simple condition so the user can continue and build an object with different values. That's it, let's run. See it is working, let's enter the values. See it is creating computer object at the end. That computer object is not directly created by computer class. It is creating by using computer builder build method. Like I said earlier the builder class builds the final object. See if I said why then it is terminating the process. Let's run again. Now let's enter different values. See it is working fine. I hope everything is clear for you. Let's review whatever code we added. Now I will show you the second approach. So here instead of reading from the scanner, we will directly enter the values. Let's run now. See it is working same as earlier. Let's create one more computer class object. So here let's say I don't want to enter hard disk size. Let's create one more computer class object. So here let's say I don't want to enter system type. So that is the flexibility we can achieve using a builder design pattern. So other than constructor other values are optional. I hope you understood the builder pattern. I checked in my changes I will show you from where you can find these. See here is the code. That's it for this video. Please like and share this video. Subscribe our channel. Thanks for watching.